Hello and welcome to Southern New Hampshire University's match against the New York Institute of Technology. My name is Timothy Fowler. I'm joined by Zach, aka Zed. Tonight's match is the last night of the regular season of the Varsity Overwatch Collegiate Test League. So, SNHU hoping to secure a win. How are you doing tonight, Zach? I am doing well. Even better now that it's time to watch and cast some Overwatch starting out on Ilios. Just taking a look at the statue here. Yep. All right, let's see. Will they run their Zen Goats here? Or will they run Far Mercy? Right. Zen Goats? It is. Oh, but Venom on the Winston. So a little bit of a dive mix up. Yeah, they got the Widow as well. So definitely closer to a dive comp here. Hopefully they, they don't ruin the beautiful ruins of Ilios here. All right. Point in Ilios is a control map, so both teams are going to be fighting over this central location in the middle of the map. Whoever does take it gets control and begins to count up a percentage of control. Once they get to 100, they win. The other team is able to test. Yeah, if they clear the enemy team off of the point and recapture, then they will gain control and they will as well count up to 100%. Best of three maps on this. Looks like we'll start out here on the high ground a little bit. Get some poke in. Looks like they're going to rotate around. Venom's going to take on the enemy Winston head on. Magic will find an early kill on the Rhine. And Weezy able to take out the Mercy as well. Ooh, Weezy on the, on the Widow. This is nice. We get to see some Widow action from Weezy again. Those two early picks will give them control of the point, and they'll take it here. Percentage will start ticking up. Venom getting very low, he is anti, he's gonna have to back up here. Able to get a pick on the enemy Zarya though, so they're probably gonna hold back until they uh, respawn. Commando's already almost out of trance, he builds those up quick. He does. He's very used uh, in the 3-3 three, three composition to being the sole damage point of the team, so he really focuses. Hey, there he goes, he gets an early pick and they'll dive right in here, but Venom will get taken out. He was anteed. So SNHU will kind of back up here and give NYIT some, some room. Looking for a little bit of a reset. Venom can get back into the fight pretty quick. Let's get that jump pack. NYIT will move up a little bit closer here. They're getting close to the point. Nice pick from Wheezy. They're gonna NYT will nano their Rhine here. Gotta be careful, back up a little bit. They're gonna play it safe. Got him with two picks on both supports here. NYIT, unable to find any sort of ground to get into this this point. Sneaky boys seem to be finding a pick everywhere. Weezy with another one. YIT unable at this point to take a 6v6 fight due to early picks. It seems to be going that way every single fight. They can't quite get in there and get to that point. They keep getting picked off. Weezy's got some nice angles. There they are. The engage is moving in. Oh, so just riding the walls a little bit here. Weezy with another big pick onto the Ana this time. YIT is able to touch the point. Commando with a nice trance blocking that entire dragon strike. Charge comes in, nothing. The beat will drop in. Both tanks he back to the collapsing back, protecting Commando. They're just contesting here. They are at 99%, it is overtime. All it takes is to clear them off the point and they'll cap it. Magic will drop the bomb. We'll find anyone with that though. Weezy with another big pick. Weezy's been on fire this game. There it is, round one to SNHU. Clean 100%. And they will take ruins. Weezy had some pretty good angles that map. That was a, that was very impressive. A couple early picks at the start. Pretty much took every single fight and uh now we'll go to well, the death hole.
Weezy seems to be on that that forest, so we'll probably see some farmers see here. No goats yet. Yeah. Weezy's playing his DPS role. Yep, looks like they're focused on a bit of dive for Ilios. They'll be going up against an, Ar an Arissa, so they that Arissa is going to be stationary, trying to get some pulls into the well. But it's going to be quite difficult when most of the tanks they're going against have movement abilities to get out of that hole. They'll jump in here. Weezy peppering in some shots. He'll find the Arissa. Discord orb is on the hog. Oh, no. Looks like this fight's pretty much one for SNA2. They got two big picks here. That'll be a three and four, and NYIT will have to back up here to reset. The SNA2 of, will count the point. The amount of cleave damage that's coming out from SNA2 on this dive comp is just kind of overwhelming. Traditional ghosts that NYIT was on. We'll switch over to a Reaper and a McCree here. So McCree probably trying to take care of Wheezy. We'll see if... Uh, Ragnar can keep him up. That pharmacy is quite difficult to take care of. He can build up that, uh... Oh, looks like NYT will push right on the point. They'll just ignore the fight entirely, but Commando does find that early pick again. And they, SNHU's had some really nice early picks in these fights before the, they even have to move in to engage. Weezy making it very difficult for them. Barrage will come in. Oh! Braids kills McCree with the McCree. Of Two of NYT a jumping down into the well. from OC! Unbelievable. What a god. Those environmental kills, absolutely dirty on this map. They'll leave Baby Diva. She'll jump in there, reset. She doesn't want to have to wait and get staggered. 50% on the point here. For ultimates, we're looking at all three support alts for SNHU. Turtle still in Baby Diva form, able to get his mech back just now. Wait and see when Venom decides to engage fully. Ooh, OC. Kind of goes in for crazy charge there. He was probably looking to get a big boop, but he got caught up by McCree there. And that Trance will come out for NYIT, and it looks like they'll probably take this fight here. SNH, SNHU will just kind of back off. Magic will get... We'll go down so he can go back with his team, and the point will flip over to NYIT. Able to take it for the first time so far in this match. Yes, it is. And SNHU is at 82%, so they really only need one more fight. They'll be getting pretty close to capping it here. Ultimate advantage over to SNHU as it stands right now. Though it is very close. We'll see how this Reaper ult comes in. It'll be interesting now that Wheezy's on the, uh, the uh, Hanzo. So. Everyone's going to be on the ground here. Made you going around to the left side there. Yeah, SNHU just looking to find an early pick if they can. Shield's getting very low. I'll drop the. Looks People like to just walk on the point. They'll contest it, but. Oh, double boot from OC. Ooh, another double boot from OC. Who is this man? Bomb comes out, but he won't catch anyone. Commando will pop that trance to keep himself alive. Oh, see him, there's a Nada in the back. Doesn't find anyone as well. The point is flipped though, 99%. They're gonna just try and stall it out here in YIT. It's not looking so good though. Oh, he went for the hammer down, but it could not connect it. And the McCree all. No Jedi here. Reaper will jump onto the point. He does have... Uh, but nothing there. Preemptive feed from OC ensures that he's not able to get anybody with that ultimate. It's just gonna be the stall from NYIT. Trickling in one at a time to try and keep it alive. The Diva will come in now. He's stepping off the point though. He's gotta be careful. There it is. Elio's over to SNHU. Pretty clean from SNHU. First map on Ruins. They couldn't even, uh, NYT was unable to cap at all, and in this one, they only capped it for like 40%, so. They had a well game to command, though. We'll see, he got some pretty crazy charge of shots and such at the beginning. Oh, oh just a nice France. France protecting his team from that Dragon Strike. Yeah, that yep. was pretty huge. That, that would have definitely lost him the point. All right.
We are going to give it to NYIT to decide the next map for us. It will be a hybrid map, if I'm correct here. So yep. maybe looking at something like King's Row, maybe New Body. Wheezy, back on that Widow. He was playing Widow, I think it was last game. That was casting in. Uh, he, he was popping off. He had some pretty good picks. And in this game, the same thing. He found those angles. Nice picks. Yeah, great picks on Widow. Cool. Awesome uh, boops from OC. Yeah, OC. Oh my lord. They 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 paid for the game. Let them play it. I mean, it keeps knocking them into the hole. <laughs> Alright, we're just waiting on the map pick here. Yeah, that well. That can be difficult. We saw NYIT go for that Orisa at the beginning, hoping to get some pulls, but I don't know if they thought they were going to go up against Dive. Because, uh... They were unprepared for that. SNHU was able to hold out for quite a while. Yep. Excited to see first map going over to SNHU. We uh, played NYIT last Friday in League of Legends and lost to that match. So Interesting. All right. Was it close? It was a close game. They won two zero, but both both matches were uh, both both games. Excuse me, were pretty pretty good. Hmm. A little bit more dominant here, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what map two looks like. Yeah, next map they do get to pick Dorado. I don't think we can play Dorado. Isn't it hybrid? Um, I believe it is. Or is it Escort? Hybrid or Escort. Or Assault oh, okay. or Escort. So they can pick either? Yep. Alright, so it will be an Escort map. So no point to cap on these. They'll just have the payload straight outside the door, and they'll just start pushing it. They'll have to go through three separate checkpoints to get to the end. Looks like a substitution too for NYT. So, yeah, we'll see what uh, JPEG comes in for. What, what they can. We will point that out once we get him. Yeah, I can't remember who he last was playing as. Here we go. All right, loading into Dorado, heading to Mexico. So on this first point here, a lot of the teams like to set up right up on the high ground, right around the corner here. So we'll see if the, they'll probably, well, we'll see. They may run Gunts again on SNHU's side for defense and maybe sit up on the high ground. Or they'll play around the choke area underneath of the arch here. Be interesting. As it is on the score map, the team will be standing next to on top of, or somewhere near this cart, uh, allowing it to move. The enemy team's stopping it if they get close. SNHU will... Who is on attack here? Yeah, SNHU is on attack here to begin, uh, so they will be attempting to push the cart across the map. There are checkpoints along the map, and upon hitting them, the time that they have to move it will extend. Attackers incoming in Once they reach that last checkpoint, it will swap. So it looks like SNHU is going to run their dive goats here with Winston, which is good. Winston's... It's nice to get him up on the high ground, especially on second point. Winston is very dominant playing above the everyone else so we'll see nyt looks like they're gonna set up where i said right above right on this this street area here it does look like they defend. subbed in their uh support player jpeg on what? he'll please in yada here we go doors are open snhu will push this around the corner we'll see if they know what they're running into 
Well, I sent you with a quick oh. swap. They've moved over to Far Mercy and Ash. So they're gonna run that dive again. It worked really well when they were on Ilios, so... They're gonna try and capitalize on that again. And why he's backing just... off towards first point. OC's gonna play the Ash too, so we're gonna see some hits again from him. Now go back up. This choke is difficult to push through. Teams have a hard time. Especially on dive. They have no yeah, shield in front of them. Weezy's gonna have to find something here so his team can get in. He's really the only one that can go up and over. Barrier on NYT side is down. Though the Rhine did find OC, so SNHU down one player. They are gonna back off a little bit here and do a little bit of a soft reset. Get OC back in the fight and they'll try again. Yeah, this, this arch here, this choke is quite difficult to get through. Yeah, you deciding to bury ults, making swaps over to a different composition so they can get through. Yeah, we'll see if NYIT predicts these swaps coming in. That's why they took them so long, because Goats is going to push right through here. Like a wrecking ball, just push right through. Yeah, they'll just, they'll just walk right through the choke. OC's oh, so looking to put that Discord orb on. And they found him. They got rid of that Rhine. Once your Rhine goes down to Goats, it's pretty much game over unless you can swing something back out of nowhere. But the Rhine, the shield is everything. Yeah, another note. Commando did not swap off Zenyatta, so he does have his ultimate available. And that'll save everyone from that grab. Mom will come in. Won't find anyone. Magic will go down, though. A huge shatter. But... Sorry, like I just pushed back off. Oh, uh, and Wheezy's gonna get staggered out. One minute and 50 seconds left here. They do have some ults to work with. Grad's coming online for Venom pretty soon, and uh, Magic does have his Shatter. See if they use that preemptively, if they're gonna wait for a bomb or a grab on the Shatter. Both teams Both rallies. rallies. Gotta build that armor up. See if Venom will use the grab immediately, or if he'll wait for Wheezy to get his ult up. Magic will, do will get melted quite quickly. OC will opt to pop the sound barrier and try and keep his the rest of his team alive. But after a high charge Zarya like that, there's not much you can do. She'll clean up most of the other players. This fight, though, could go quite well. They d NYIT does have trance, but... If maybe there's a combo coming in from Venom with the grab and Wheezy with the bomb, they could probably blow right through that. You do only have 60 seconds, so this may be the last fight for SNHU. Venom's gonna be very careful his grab doesn't get eaten by the enemy Zarya here. That could that could be bad. Oh! Sound Barrier does come online for NYIT, so they could have a hard time using this grab now with both support ults online. There's the grab. Grab comes in and Wheezy with the bomb. Wheezy will find the Rhine. This is the opportunity SNHU was looking for. They've got to, they've got to capitalize on this. Wheezy will get demeked though. Then I'm at go full down. energy, putting out damage. SNHU though will swing it back over and they'll take care of the Brig and demeck the Diva. Only five seconds left. SNHU is looking good for him here. They're getting the cart moving again. Into overtime, they have pushed us about five feet in order to get. But a grab point. comes in, won't catch anyone quite. Oh, magic will go down actually. Oh, and a huge gra uh, sh earth shatter, I should say. Once that Ryan goes down for your team, you don't really have the shield to protect you from those, and how to clean it up? SNHU will kind of just be playing touch the point now. Amanda won't be able to even close the distance, and SNHU will get hold or held on first point. And YIT bringing it back after the uh, O2 on Ilio is able to full hold first point from SNHU. Yeah, that was a good map pick by them. I think they know their strengths and it seems like they they have the defense on Dorado down quite well. SNHU just unable to get anything in there when they pop the grab and the Devault at the end just only caught one. And Even though they did have the player advantage, it kind of swung back over. So we'll see now what... Uh, NYIT ops to run, they'll run the Zen Goats again. Ready for battle. 
interesting. So it looks like they're gonna run. SNHU is gonna run a form of dive here with the Zarya. And they think they did better on Ilios with the dive, so they're gonna try and run it again on defense, see if they can make something happen. Probably are running the Zarya, looking to use that grab with the Wheezy's ult to clean up a fight quickly. See how this goes, five seconds to the door is open. It's primarily on NYIT's JPEG to take down the Farah up in the air. We'll see how that goes. Oh, he's getting very low, he is discorded, he's gonna have to get healed up here. Kind of trading shots back and forth. Nothing really big happening yet. Venom is set up underneath in the choke area here. OC getting very low. He'll get taken out. The res from Fragnar is going to have to come in if they want to keep this fight 6 6. We'll find it. Magic's going to get demaxed too. Defense not looking great for us and HU on this map. Seems to be NYIT found their ground. They. They're playing quite well on Dorado. Point's almost there. Only a couple meters left. No one's there to contest. And the point will walk. They'll walk it. The point right up. Quick point one. And YIT takes map two on Dorado. So now we'll go to a third map, which is Assault, correct? I believe this is another control. Another control? Okay. One moment. So a different way that game went, a little bit more in the favor of NYIT, a little bit more dominant there. So we definitely see uh, map types playing a big role here. They they knew exactly what kind of escort map they wanted to play. And their their Zen goats looked really what looked really good. Yep, nope. This is an assault map. Assault. Right. All right. The tiebreaker will be a control if they lose. Which often does happen on these assault maps. They go on forever. Let's see yeah. what uh, SNHU chooses here. They did pick... Um, what did they pick? Hanamura, I think. Last time they played on here. So, Yep, there it is. There's the Hanamura. So, they'll probably try and run their Zen Goats to push through that choke at the on the first point of Hanamura. Unless Weezy wants to pull out the Farah again. Initiating match. Beautiful map of Cherry Blossoms. Hanamura is a two control point map, similar to Ilios and others, uh, as opposed to going for one point on the map, there will be an attacking team um, working to control this point. Once they get it, they will move right. further back in the map to a second. Each point consists of three ticks. Once you clear the enemy team off of the point long enough to get a tick, you'll hold that no matter what. Percentage won't tick down at all, and then once you capture all three ticks on the point, that's when the second map will unlock. Looks like SNHU will be on defense first, and they are running the Zen Goats. I am loving this. Looks like uh, OC might be doing a little bit of scouting here. Yep. Mirror match as far as uh, as far as comps go so far. We'll see. There was a lot of Zen Goats on the last map, and it did seem to go in NYIT's favor, so we'll see which team pull out the better Zen Goats on this map. Choke point right here. Both teams are going to be fighting directly on it. NYIT breaking in. Right through. Nothing done yet, though. They are getting very low. Magic will get taken out, and Weezy's just about to get demagged. There it goes. Commander does find a pick on the enemy Ryan. They could equalize this if they want to. Yep. 
They'll get the DMAC on the D.Va, but oh, the Commando will go down. Weezy will go down, and Fragnar will find the, the pick. And then the enemy break. Very close in this point. It's 3-3. Just looking for an equalized Fragnar. Looks like Briggs still good, everyone. And sh he'll pop the rally right here just to keep OC and uh, him up. OC doing the Lucio down. Reinforcements did come in. Not looking so good for OC. Magic charging right into the fight. He'll keep swinging. Attacking team has advantage uh, when it comes to reinforcements. They are able to just get back more quickly, but SNHG able to push them off the point. And they'll hold that. So Fragnar, good, good job on popping the rally there. Kept his, him and OC up long enough for the rest of the team to get back and clear him off the point, so... Oh, and SNHU gonna stagger the baby D.Va out. That's brutal. They're gonna have to wait for her to come back in. That's gonna take a couple seconds unless they decide to just push through. No, they'll just hold it to choke here and wait for the D.Va to get back. That, that is time on the clock, though. Every second counts here. Yep. Few minutes and 20 seconds left for NYIT to take, take this first point. We'll see the speed boost come in from him right here. Now the Diva's back in the fight. Magic's close to that front line. His shield's low. He does have the Discord arm on him. Both teams will pop their, uh, their sound barriers, but... Looks like SMHU's down two players. Turtle went down early in that fight. Pete came out oh, right after he died. Both the SNHU supports are on the map, on the point here. Commando and OC trying to find something, but it doesn't look like they'll get anything in. One minute and 40 on the clock here. It looks like uh, NY IT will take the first point. We'll go to second point now. So we'll get some more time to cap this second point. We got quite a bit of time. Five and a half minutes to take point two. Those first points on assaults are always the easiest. Now comes the struggle of taking the second, where respawn advantage goes on the defense side. Looks like NYT will opt to just go straight down main and right onto the point. Almost taking a tick, but SNA2 quick enough with the speed boost to get in here and contest. Shatter comes down from the magic, but. Doesn't look like it caught anyone, and a uh, deep pump kill will find OC. Reezy will go down on the Reaper. Oh, okay, so he switched over to Reaper, so a little bit of a variation of goats here. Just one person Almost that third tick HQ. now. In comes the, the stall pick heroes. Weezy on the tracer now. He's got to get back quick. The points almost capped. And there we go. A quick second point. For NYIT. Round one going over to NYIT. SNHU now needs to take both points in order to match that. Lots of time on the clock, too. Four and a half minutes. It only took him a minute to cap that second point. SNHU predicted him to go up the stairs, and they, the speed boost came in right through main. So first point didn't seem so dominant for NYIT. It was a little bit more even. Went back and forth, so we'll see. if Both teams are probably going to run this again. All about getting a pick onto the Reinhardt. The Reinhardt yeah, goes down, and you can take out the rest of the team. And NYIT has been pushing as quickly as possible uh, onto the front line of SNHU. Ooh. Interesting picks on the defense side. They're gonna opt to run the Bastion here. That's if OC decides to stay on this uh, Sombra, that is not gonna go in NYIT's favor. Bastion does not like being hacked. He loses his most powerful ability, turret form. We have not seen the Sombra this match either, so it'll definitely be a surprise to NYIT if she ends up popping up in the background. They are running two shield tanks too. That is a lot of shield in front of the Bastion. They definitely want to keep him alive. See if OC is able to sneak around. Bomber can become invisible, but if she gets hit by damage, she will lose invisibility. So, able to translocate behind the other team. 
Yeah, so OC's gonna go way out and around. Venom won't get picked though, so OC may decide to just stay hidden in the back here. Gets picked Does off. Just get spotted. Interesting. Looks like NYT Zen might have seen OC in the back. He was shooting at him. Once you know the enemy has a somber, you can just throw damage onto the backside of your team and see if you can find her. OC's looking to get in there to hack. He doesn't even necessarily need to hack the Bastion as long as distracted long enough for the rest of the team to push through that point. Enemy Zenyatta here focusing Ooh. specifically on the back line. Interesting. So OC will just have to try and cap the point to draw some people off so that the rest of SNHU can push in through the choke area here and they'll just keep walking up. That Bastion, man. They'll they'll hack everyone. Zenyatta in the back. They'll start capping too. It looks like they might get a tick. They will. All right, so the Bastion had to get off the point here, uh, off of his spot. Much better. I'll go back to reset, but OC really just looking to get that EMP up. Once he gets that up, he can kind of just sneak in there. Once the EMP goes down, Bastion we're doing everything really... in our power to just distract until that EMP comes, forcing two of the enemy team's players to turn around and give an advantage to the rest of the team. And the EMP is definitely not Zen's best friend, so he'll only be left with a little bit of help. And Bastion won't be able to go into turret mode either, so that's the opportunity SNHU is looking for here. Both supports on OC, though. Looks like the tire's going up the stairs and it'll find Venom. A minute 50 left on the clock here. Still no EMP for SNHU yet. OC's having a hard time building it up. Every time he gets close, those supports are on him. I think the team's a little bit split too. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. They can't really get back. Waiting on the respawns to come in. OC in the back line trying to cause some havoc here. Gets a hack onto Bastion. Alright. This the is the opportunity. Is OC will go down though. Turret form will come out. They're on the point. Here. Venom will get slept. Wake up, but he does have the Discord orb on him. He's got to be very careful there. Bastion will set back up. This is not looking so good for SNHU. They've only got a minute left. Bastion's cleaning everyone up. Dragnar will decide to pop the rally. Don't know if that was a good choice. With only 50 seconds left. They do have the EMP, so this is the fight to take. They do have grab as well. I see in a good spot, too, up and behind the rest of the team. Not in the spot where he can get attacked by that Zenyatta. Yeah, this alt advantage is in SNHU's favor, so this is definitely the fight to win for them. Enemy Reinhardt standing up very far. He's not going to be in range of the EMP, I don't think. Here it goes. There's the hack. The grab comes in too, but the SNHU opting not to capitalize on the grab, just going straight to point and trying to cap it. Hack on the Reinhardt. Enemy Orisa very low. We'll pop the bomb. Decided to pop the bungle there. Don't know if that was necessarily a good choice. Probably wants to switch off of the Orisa. That's why she wanted to get rid of that ult. Yeah, she'll go to the D.Va, and it looks like they'll... They'll keep the Junkrat, though, for the second point, because they do have Tyre. So they do with the same composition. All of their ults there, except for Commandos, so... They only have the Trance for this first fight. Uh, trance can't really do much against a Tyre. I think she's going to push up staircase here. It's tight. You don't want to be in a corridor with going against a Reaper and a, a Junkrat. It's a lot of damage. Magic finds the pick they needed. OC will go down, though. Looks like SNH will have to just walk right onto the point. Oh, a big anti, though. Commander, you can't heal with an anti. Oh! Looks like it's just kind of a slow fight. It's just going back and forth on picks. Magic will go down, though. Oh, and the tire will find Commando, and that fight will pretty much be over for SNHU. Back on to Zenyatta. It'll be good but they did, damage in. they did do what they had to and get rid of that tire, and now the Junkrat's gone. But they are on May. Now, they've got to be very careful. If they're going to walk through any of these tight corridors, make can wall off uh, Magic and pretty much... Take him out. 
quite easily with a Reinhardt charge or something of the sort if he's separated from the rest of his team. I see a 93% EMP looking to uh, use that big ultimate again. Getting into a safe spot. Oh, a, nice, on point. a nice shot from Commando onto the uh, May. EMP. EMP bomb though. We'll fight Venom. Four members going down. EMP kind of. It was a good EMP, but just unable to capitalize. That bomb pretty much took everyone out. SNH will have to reset again. May though, not really doing much in that last fight. Commando took care of him pretty easily. They put that Discord off on him in uh by May. We don't see you anymore. Alright. SNH with two minutes to take this point. If they don't, they will lose this match. And OC still on the Sombra, so he's gonna try and get another EMP up. Rally coming out. Rally will come up though the wall. The wall and the anti-nade on SNHU. It's gonna be tough to win this fight. They don't have any ults up right now. Because Commando is dead and so is Venom. And they'll get cleaned up, though they will have quite a few ults for this next fight. Very, very close on time, though. Only a minute and 15 seconds left. Weasley swapping over to Thera, trying to get that damage in. Yeah, there's the Mercy too, so last minute pharmacy, let's see. Is this what it is this I mean what are they gonna I guess they have a, an honor to take care of it, but Reaper's gonna have a hard time taking care of the Farah. SNH is just gonna walk right on the point. OC getting kinda low though. Shatter doesn't find anything, but on the other side, SNHU does. Though unable to do anything because of the transcendence. Easy keeps going. Magic goes down though, he gets frozen. Fragnar will go down to the Diva Bomb, along with Wheezy. It's not looking so good for SNHU. They do have. OC is going to be able to touch though if he stays in the back here. Give his team enough time to get one more fight in. And he does almost have an EMP, though he has to be very careful here. This will definitely be the last fight, so this EMP has to be big. EMP Barrage is what we're looking at. They touch point. Oh, OC gets EMP. spotted a little bit earlier than he wanted to. He unfortunately had to come out of invisibility for that, uh, to touch the point. Venom is the only one left, and that'll be a team kill. And that map will definitely go 10YIT, so they will take this game. Yeah, so they definitely a, pulled it back. Yeah, it was a good game. Uh, SNG with a great map one, and YIT dominating map two, and comes to the very end. Mando. Got to play the game here, yeah. Marissa getting very low. She decided to pop that bongo there just at the last minute, but. The no transcendence play of the game on the Zenyatta. Gold, four golds to Commando. <laughs> yeah. That will do it for the match tonight. Uh, I believe our next match is this Sunday, so keep an Excellence. eye out uh, for more Overwatch. Overwatch. Thank you for joining me, Zach. Thank you for having me. Always a good time. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good night. See you.